are going to be playing with the brand new Brights paper pads. And this is the uh, debut. And I have A2 size as well as slimline size. So these are really handy to have on hand. You can just slap them on top of your cards. Score at half an inch. What I'm going to do is make a vellum envelope for one of the A2 cards. Um, for this one, I kind of wanted to use those bright colors as an ice cream inspired card. The cheerfulness, the brightness, of course, from the, the bright paper itself. Perfect for card fronts, for your scrapbook pages, for die cutting, for your traveler's notebooks. I mean, the possibilities are absolutely endless. Welcome crafty friends. We are so excited that you are joining us. We have something fun for you today. These are our brand new Bright paper pad bundles and they are on sale now for two days only. So you're gonna wanna grab yours while supplies last. All right, in this live stream, we will show you what's included in this bundle. Plus, we'll be sharing card making tutorials from our friends, Marie Nicole Designs, Jamie Pate, and Ryan from Glitter Grunge Greetings. All right, let's talk a little bit about what's coming in this bundle. You're getting two paper pads, the A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, and the slimline size, which is three and a half by eight and a half. The special price right now for both of these, the MSRP is $25, but the price today and tomorrow is only $9.99. So you're gonna wanna get them while supplies last. They both include smooth cardstock in ultra bright color scheme. There's 40 sheets of double-sided smooth cardstock. It includes eight different colors, five sheets of each color, and the colors coordinate for layered mats and die cutting. These papers cut really smooth with dies. They're sized perfectly to fit the front of a slim line card or the smaller size for the A2 card. The paper weight on both pads is 85 pound cover or 210 GSM. And don't forget, this sale is on for two days only or while supplies last, so you're gonna wanna grab yours while they're available. To take advantage of this amazing deal, you'll just click on the link in the YouTube description, or if you're watching on Facebook, be sure to click on the link in the comments. All right, we are going to now go over to Marie Nicole Designs. She's gonna show us a really cute card that she made using the Slimline paper pads. Now, the slimline paper pads coordinate really well with the scrapbook.com um, slimline card fronts and card bases. They have some of these pre-cut for you. So I'm using this herringbone stencil from scrapbook.com and I kind of want to make the bottom of my card look like an ice cream cone. And I thought this stencil kind of came closest to that look. So I'm going to go ahead and blend on some of my tea dye Distress Oxide ink here. I'm not worried about covering the very top portion of the slimline because I am going to color it with these bright papers here. So I have some of these wavy um, border dyes from Lanth Fawn. I've got the, I've had these in my stash for years and I use them for all sor sorts of things, mostly um, doing landscapes with hills and grass and things, but it also works if you go ahead and cut out some of your paper with these. So um, just giving you another idea of different ways you can use your dies. I went ahead and I cut out all three pieces of paper here to layer on top of each other. So once I had those cut, I layered them on top of each other. I cut them down and I just trimmed off the extra and that kind of gives me my card background. Now this is really fun, really bright. It's kind of giving off those ice cream vibes. So I'm using some of my um, white pigment ink from scrapbook.com and I probably should have done this before gluing down my layers, but I didn't think about it till afterwards. So I'm just using a little bit of this mint tape to kind of um, mask off the edges of my ice cream. And then I'm taking my foam blender, my domed foam blender, and I'm just kind of tapping on a little bit of this white pigment ink. And to add to that, sort of shimmery frosty look I'm adding some splatters with my scrapbook.com glitter brush pen and I love using my alpha dies to cut out just um, custom sentiments so I needed something that went with the ice cream type theme so I went with let's chill I'm mixing and matching a few different fonts here from my alpha dies and I really like the way it looks 
So I sprinkled on some little hearts there that I cut out of black cardstock, and I'm just attaching this whole card front to a card base. Thank you, Marie, for sharing with us that beautiful card using the Slimline Brights paper pad. And I even noticed that you used the scrapbook.com stencil for the waffle cone. That was so cute. We loved it. So thank you for taking the time and sharing that with us. That was a really fun slimline card and a great way to use the new paper pad. All right, for those of you who are just joining us, we have our Brights paper pad bundle on sale right now for two days only or while supplies last. So you're gonna wanna grab yours while they're available. The MSRP on these are $25, but they are only $9.99 for the next two days. So grab them while you can. They're great for die cutting, great for layering, great for all of your crafty paper projects. So you're gonna wanna grab some. Okay, we're gonna take just a minute and show you how I made this cute Fiesta card using the Bright's Slimline Paper Pad. So, we used the Bright's Slimline Paper Pad, which has lots of beautiful, bright, bright colors. Look at the bright colors on this paper pad. They really do pop and they really are bright, just like they say. It has a special neon ink, so you get bright, bright colors. Okay, so my Fiesta card is already almost finished, but I wanted to just finish it off with a few pieces to show you how quick and easy it is to make a Slimline card. These are from our Borders dies. They're the Slimline Borders and they come with lots of different border options. And we've taken all of them to create this card, which when you do that on this card, it looks like a pinata, doesn't it? Doesn't that look fun? All right, so I've already got my adhesive on here. I'm just gonna peel it off. Grab that right there. As I'm peeling that off, I'm going to take my border that's already been cut with my die and lay it right over our 1 4 inch double-sided adhesive. Put that right on my card. And you can see the other borders are peeking out behind it. And then I've got one more 1 4 inch adhesive on here that I'm gonna peel the backing tape away and add my last bright green border. These colors are fabulous and perfect for summertime, or like Marie did with her ice cream cone card to add a lot of punch and color to your cards and projects. All right, you can see all the borders layered here, so it looks almost like ruffles. It looks so fun. We've got our alphabet die. This is our bold, basic alphabet die, and I've already got our 1 4 inch strip foam adhesive on the back of each letter that I die cut, and I'm just gonna add my I and my F. This 1 4 inch foam adhesive is perfect for all of these little die cut alphabets to use. So it makes it easy to just pop up little alphas and little stickers like that. And just like that, a quick little card using the Slimline Brights paper pad and our alphabet dies and border dies. So cute and it looks just like a fun pinata. Beautiful, beautiful, bold, bright colors in the Slimline Brights paper pad. Okay, also I wanna share this other fun little cute fish card I made using the Brights paper pad. They're just one and a half inch uh, circles cut out with our circle die and folded over to make little fins for a fun swim invitation party. These Bright paper pads are perfect for parties, for summertime, for anything happy and fun. The colors really are happy and gorgeous and full of color and lots and lots of choices. You get the eight colors, five sheets of each color in each paper pad. So that gives you a lot of choices and a lot of opportunity to make a lot of projects. Don't forget that our team is standing by to answer all of your questions and comments on Facebook and YouTube. And now we are going to toss over to Ryan at Glitter Grunge Greetings because he is going to show us some gorgeous cards that he made. I cannot wait for you all to see this. So let's take a look at what Ryan has. We are going to be playing with the brand new Brights paper pads. Now, if you are familiar with scrapbooks.com's, uh, already already has some really beautiful paper pads and some beautiful color palettes and this is the uh, debut of a lot more to come these rainbow colors are off the charts they're super vivid super vibrant um, and yeah there's five sheets of each color in it we have the a2 
uh, size and then here we have the, the new slimline. I'm going to keep things very simple uh, so very easy to replicate and I decided to use some of the uh, new wildflower stems uh, dies. These are the thin lit dies from Tim Holtz and Sizzix. So I'm really just cutting out a whole bunch of these wildflower silhouette uh, dies and they cut out beautifully. This is 85 pound paper so uh, it will not have any problem going through either your manual die cutting machine. I have a Vagabond 2. Uh, not to brag but it is the bomb. Um, so I do love my electric one. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to find the uh, the best ink that matches up with each individual color uh, of of the paper pack. So this is what I have. This is what I pulled from my stash. And now we're ready to start making some watercolor background. So I do this by starting with my uh, tonic craft mat. This is the white non-slip craft mat that as you can see is perfect to be able to see where all of your inks go um, so that's the that's a major plus uh, to using a white craft mat to ink smush or ink smash as I like to say these days and as you can see I'm just going in smashing down my ink pads um, working in threes working in trios of colors that way I'm doing that because I don't want to create mud. So I'm keeping colors that are close to each other on the color wheel, um, working with those pretty exclusively, and this is going to prevent me from really creating any uh, muddy uh, watercolor. Which, I mean, it's kind of funny because we I do go in after I'm done here and actually add browns and greens. and um, So I guess it wouldn't have been terrible to use it for me because I am trying to now add a vintage uh, effect to kind of these these watercolor backgrounds. Um, here we go. I'm going in now that I've cut out all of my, here are all my die cuts. And as you can see, they cut out beautifully, nice and crisp. And I'm just going in here with a background stamp. This is from Ledger Script from Tim Holtz. I have this on a uh, one of his acrylic blocks here. They're very thin. And then here I'm taking some picket fence. This is some distress spray stain. So it's basically a very, uh, it's a very liquidy uh, pigment spray. And what I'm doing is I'm just trying to kind of soften down some of that grunge. So I'm kind of going back and forth. You know, we started with a really bright, beautiful watercolor. Then we went in, added some distress inks to kind of grunge it up a little bit, give it a little bit of a, an antiqued uh, finish and now to kind of go full circle where I'm introducing a little bit of white just to kind of soften it down and then last minute here I decided to um, also just bring in that ledger stamp and uh, now I decided to take it off the mount and go in uh, full manual mode here and once the, oh, if I can get a handle on my stamp there we go <laughs> my goodness last step here is I am just gonna take that uh, picket fence. Now this is the ink pad and I'm just going in and basically smashing the ink pad onto the surface of my die cuts and once again this is just going to create uh, just to help things kind of match. For the sentiment on each of these cards I'm taking some uh, dies and these are also from Tim, Hol Tim Holtz you, gets, you guessed it and uh, this is the handwritten love uh, die set, thin lit set and I'm just running that through my Vagabond, and if you notice, I didn't have to use any tape on my uh, platform because uh, that's the nice thing about the Vagabond is that it kind of has the built-in platform. Just going to pop things down. I just used some double-sided tape to um, attach my card fronts to just A2 top folding card bases, and these are the completed cards. So I love just the the vintage, the romance, the the cheerfulness, the brightness, of course, from uh, the, the the bright paper itself and the watercolor backgrounds that we made to sort of match the color palette. So, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun making these cards. They came together very quickly, very simple. Um, and, yeah, I, was, I, I felt like I met the challenge of, uh, you know, being able to use these brights uh, in a kind of more of a vintage way. Wow, those were a lot of fun to watch you make, Ryan. So thank you so much for sharing with us how you use the Slimline paper pads, bright. They looked so good on your cards. It really made them pop. So thank you for taking the time and sharing with us your talent. All right, now I want to show you all some fun projects made by some of our viewers, and they are using the Bright's paper pads. So let's take a look. 
This first one is from Julianne Michaels and she made a happy birthday card and it is so bright and fun. I love that card. And then Keisha Charles using the brights in that rainbow is so pretty. It really makes that card pop. And here's another card by Marie Nicole Designs. It's beautiful using the brights as that ice cream cone. It's so pretty. And another card by Marie Nicole Designs using these fun sunglasses. These paper pads really are reminiscent of the 80s, so it's so fun to see that she made this card with the sunglasses. And now let's go over to Jamie Pate and see what she's gonna make with the Brights paper pad. I can't wait to see. Jamie? Today what I wanna do is take the A2 size and kind of think a little bit outside the box. I like to play with different ideas for card making instead of just always the traditional, have the card open front. I just like to kind of change it up a little bit. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's get started. So you can see here, I have grabbed a piece of vellum, eight and a half by 11 size vellum. It's going to be cut down. Of course, I'm going to use the bright, smooth card stock in the A2 size. And to start, I'm going to grab my scoreboard by We Are Memory Keepers. This is the scoreboard and cutter. So what I'm going to do is make a vellum envelope for one of the A2 cards to fit inside of. I think I'm going to grab this, this pink here towards the back. And it's already the whole idea of it, right? It's already cut to size. But I'm going to make an envelope for it to kind of slip inside of. I want a little bit of the edge to show. Okay, with my eight and a half by 11 size vellum, I'm going to cut this down to four and a quarter by six and a half. Then on three sides, I'm going to score at half an inch. So I'm just going to turn these on each side, line them up to my inside edge and just score along the halfway mark. And then with vellum, you just want to be a little careful making your scores. Sometimes I am known to just completely crease the paper and actually cut it. So just be mindful of that when you are using vellum and creating score lines and then folding it. So this is going to be actually a little bit smaller than the A2 card. I'm going to actually be using two sheets of this A2 paper. I am sliding these into the folds of the envelope. You can see how that worked out. Then I'm going to add adhesive here on these three sides and then place a, another piece of the paper, which I'm going to go ahead and go with this brighter pink. And that just gives it, even though you can't see it, it just gives it a lot more sturdiness as an envelope backer. I'm going to grab another piece of my A2 Brights paper, the same as I already have in there. And this is going to need to be trimmed down just a tad because I just want it to be able to come in and out of my envelope really smooth. So I'm only going to take about a quarter inch off the top and ever so slight, maybe an eighth inch off the long edge. And you're gonna see how easily now that fits inside my envelope. I'm going to quarter inch around the side that is going to be exposed so that you can see that there's something extra in there to actually pull out. I decided to give my card tag a little more interest before putting it inside of the vellum tag. So I'm using a real different color, but I think it's gonna work. This is Tattered Rose Distress Ink, and I think it's gonna give a real chalk-like appearance. So I have added a little label as sort of a tab so that it's easy to pull this card in and out of its envelope. Now I'm going to add some more embellishments to the front of this card and kind of finish it up. I have fussy cut these flowers out of a pink paisley paper. This is the quarter inch foam double-sided adhesive that's exclusive to scrapbook.com. Then I wanted to grab this Heidi Swap Old School Ohay. Then I'm gonna grab some more of the foam tape and kind of sneak it in underneath 
the hay here. I think I'm going to use this little journal card and it can be popped in here as well. So all this needs is another piece of double-sided tape. Take that backer off and add it there. And you have a really fun card made from the brights ready to give to somebody you love. Thank you so much, Jamie. That was such a pretty card. I love the vellum and I loved how you used the A2 Brights paper pad as the pink inside your card. It was so pretty and added just that perfect pop. So thank you so much for sharing with us your talent. You did a great job on that card. I love it. Such a great little tutorial. All right. Now I want to show you how fabulous these paper pads are to die cut. They are really great for die cutting and layering and I want to show you how smooth and awesome they are to die cut. So I've got my Rose Bloom brand new slimline scrapbook.com die over one of the slimline paper pad brights color, that beautiful fuchsia pink. And I'm going to run it through my Sizzix die cutting machine. It just goes through smoothly. You can hear that crunching, cutting like butter. And then as it comes out the other side, we're going to pull this guy out and show you how fabulous this is. Let me take off my mint tape so I can give you the grand reveal. Get my tweezers. Look at how gorgeous. Look at that. All the pieces just fall out perfectly. And then whatever doesn't, you can just use your tweezers to shake a little bit, shake all the pieces out. And it cuts this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous rose bloom dye for slimline. And you can use this to make a card. You can use it on traveler's notebook pages. You can use it on a scrapbook project background. There's a lot of ways that you can use our slimline paper pads. And we are excited to show you our new slimline dies that you can use with them as well. Look at how pretty this is. Take off all my remnants, but just want to give you a nice view of that pretty die. And it just cuts smoothly and it'll be ready to go on my card. All right, let's do another one. Clean up this mess a little bit. Lots of extra leftover confetti here from that die. Now, Let's use one of our standard magic mats and cut out this cute rainbow. This is one of our rainbow dies. It's really pretty. Got my standard magic mat. I'm going to put that on my platform with my top thing. And this one runs through really smooth. I can just hear it cutting just ever so slightly like butter. Smooth and painless and there is that pretty rainbow. Look at that. Just cuts like butter and so perfect for all of your projects. I really, really love these paper pads because they are the perfect thickness. They're 85 pound cover or 210 GSM. So they're the perfect thickness for layering dies on your cards, on all your crafty paper projects. These are the perfect go-to every time to add some dimension and color and pop to your projects. All right, let's do one more just for fun. I wanna show you how well it cuts out a word. Thank you. And we're gonna just, let's use green and cut out the word life. Okay on my platform, get my platform ready here. We've got this, the regular standard magic mat with our life die down. This is one of our words dies from scrapbook.com. And I'm just gonna run it through on the green A2 rights paper. Each paper pad has 40 sheets. You get eight colors with five sheets each. So you, five sheets each. So you get a lot of choices and a lot of ones to use for projects. Look at how pretty this life turned out. So you can see that. My little period is still right here in my mat. So you can grab your little eye period right there. How pretty. These are great paper pads to use for all of your die cutting projects. Um, and just even for layering, layering your photos, laying your, layering your cards, lots of different choices. Okay, I just wanna remind everybody that's just joining us that our 
Scrapbook.com exclusive Bright's Paper Pad Bundle is on sale right now for $9.99, MSRP of $25. You're not gonna find this price anywhere else or anytime soon, so grab yours while supplies last because they are only on sale for a limited time, for two days only, or while the supplies last, so grab them. And if you're joining us on Facebook, you can find the link straight to the product page in the comment section, or if you're on YouTube, you can find it in the description and the link will take you right to the product page as well. All right, now we are gonna toss over to some of our crafty friends who are gonna share with us some reviews from our very own customers. So let's see what everyone has to say about these fabulous paper pads. All right. Hey everybody, it's Jeff Lindbergh from Jeff Lindbergh Creates. Hi, I'm Carol Weatherspoon, and I have a few reviews for you for the A2 and Slimline paper pads. And I'm here to read some reviews from scrapbook.com. First review is from Heather Kent. She says, attention card makers, no more computing fractions and with that 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Finally, a paper pad cut just for us. It's the size of a typical card and they can stack with a quick trim on each side. Balcazo writes, great addition to my card making supplies. The paper is a perfect weight to layer and the paper can be used directly on the front of your A2 cards with no cutting needed. A very nice collection of colors that will match anything. I definitely will be buying more. And the next one's from Cat9540. Already recommended. I love this paper. I bought two pad colors and will definitely buy more. I have already recommended this and will continue to do so. The colors are unique and fabulous. The thickness is just right and it is a beautiful smooth texture. My new favorite paper. And from Mountain Carter, who says, great deal on a perfect size pads. These are perfect for any on the go crafting, for classes or travel. Having this stack covers about any color needed. Also great for when you just need to go to a small piece and don't want to use a full 12 by 12. She says that she has several mini cut die machines and that these are just the right size for those projects. Plus, she says the price is amazing. Thanks, Mountain Carter. Thank you so much for those wonderful reviews. We love hearing what you all think of our products, so thank you so much for those happy, great reviews. And we are so happy to hear that you love them as much as we do, so thank you. All right, this is our Bright Paper Pad Bundle, only available at scrapbook.com today and tomorrow, two days only or while supplies last, so you're gonna wanna grab them while you can. You get these two paper pads, Slimline and A2, 40 sheets in each paper pad, eight different colors, five sheets of each. They are a great paper pad to use for all of your crafty paper crafting needs. They are on sale for $9.99, MSRP is $25. So you're gonna wanna get this deal while it's going on here at scrapbook.com. And we know you'll love them. We have heard lots of great reviews today and we've seen lots of different tutorials on how to use them. And we know that you will be just as creative and use them with your own projects. So thank you again for joining us. Remember to leave your comments and questions on our YouTube and Facebook and our team will get back to you and take advantage of it. It's a great deal. Don't miss it. Get these while we have them. You'll use them over and over again. They are a great thing to have in your stash. So we look forward to hearing what you think and thank you again for joining us and have a great day.